My name is Chris, but I was on the train the other day. This guy walked by, looked at me, and was like, Evan. And I was like, nah, man. And he was like, Eric. And I was like, how well do you know the person you're trying to say hello to right now? You don't even know their first name. I applied to a job recently uh, where they asked me to write an acrostic poem using my name. Um, I'd like to share that with you guys now. My name is Chris, C-H-R-I-S. C. Can't believe you would. H. Have a potential employee. R. Reply to a job application. I. In a way that was designed for. S. Someone in kindergarten. I did not get that job. But I did get a different job. And there's an apartment across the street from my office that you can see into. One morning I came into the office and a group of my coworkers were like, oh my God, Chris, last night we were in the office late and we saw the guy in the apartment across the street jerking off. It was so weird. <laughs> was it? Was it weird? <laughs> Was it weird that he was jerking off in his own apartment while you all gathered around him? <laughs> Who's the weird one in this situation? <laughs> Speaking of jerking off, um, I'm a red-blooded American like the rest of you. I enjoy the occasional pornography, uh, but I try to be extra careful with what I uh, search for. Um, like the other night I sat down on my computer I typed in, barely legal, but definitely legal. <laughs> now that I have a job, uh, I go to stores and buy things. Anybody else here go to stores and buy things? I'm trying to be more relatable. Uh, <laughs> I was uh, outside of the store the other day, and they had a sign up that said, everything costs 99 cents or less, and more. <laughs> I think they could have been just as effective with a sign that said, everything costs something. <laughs> I'm not a big fan of football. I need football fans in here. Cool couple. Uh, I am a big fan of fun facts about football. Like, did you guys know that in 1945, when Cleveland founded their football team, they let the whole city decide on the name? That means the mayor of Cleveland was like, all right, gang, we got a new football team. What are we going to name it? And a majority of the city was like, Brown! <laughs> and the mayor was like, well... We have the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame, we're known for music. Brown! And the mayor was like, okay, we're the Cleveland Browns. Now we need a mascot. And a majority of the city was like, well, we're a football team. What about a football helmet? <laughs> Mayor of Cleveland was like, okay, we're the Cleveland Browns, our mascot is a brown football helmet, and the majority of the city was like, no, the football helmet's got to be burnt orange. People are offended by the Washington Redskins mascot, I'm offended by the Cleveland Browns everything. <laughs> Worst team in the league. Uh, I do, uh, I like things. Uh, I like karaoke. Uh, what I like to do at karaoke is I'll sign me and my girlfriend Karen up to sing I Got You Babe by Sonny and Cher. And then I wait for the DJ to be like, ladies and gentlemen, coming up next we got Chris and Karen singing I Got You Babe. And then I go up by myself because Karen doesn't exist. <laughs> And 
I just sing the saddest rendition I can think of. It's like, babe, where are you, babe? Where are you, Karen? I've been trying to put myself out there a little more with the ladies, though. Um, I was uh, riding in the car with this girl recently, and I thought that it would be fun for her to give me a blowjob. Uh, she didn't seem to think so. Um, she came up with the lamest excuse not to. She said, I'm driving. Uh, I do the online dating thing. Anybody else in here do the online dating? Room full of liars. I do the online dating thing. I'm on all the sites. I'm on uh, Tinder, OkCupid, Bumble, JDate, Christian Mingle, Farmers Only, Black People Meet. It's really anywhere I can get my name out there. Uh, and I'll be talking to these girls, and when they stop responding, I think it's funny to be like, are you dead? And none of them have ever responded. Uh, so I just want to take a moment of silence for all those dead girls. Uh, before I leave you, um, this isn't a joke. Uh, I actually have a idea for a business that I'd like to pitch to you guys. Imagine this is Shark Tank, and you're all the sharks. Uh, I have this business idea. Um, I want to open up a corn stand, sell corn, um, on Decob Avenue. Uh, and I'm going to call my business Corn on Decob. <laughs> when you enter Corn on Decob, you're greeted with a friendly, Welcome to Corn on Decob. How can we help you? <laughs> Um, and we're, we're about to go public, uh, so if anybody's interested, come find me after the show if you want to buy some corn stock. <laughs> Thank you, I'm Chris Donahue.